So on this channel, we have extensively tested Tesla's alarm system. I've shook the car, I've climbed on top of the car, I've thrusted on the car for some bizarre reason. And since we upgraded to the 2021 long range, so many people have been asking me, Jack, is the Tesla alarm system still really weird? So that's what we're gonna find out today. We're gonna do a bunch of different tests that we've never done before, including trying to steal the diamond play button and hopefully it should be really interesting also one last thing before i begin before we started filming becky and i cleaned the entire vehicle and it was looking beautiful and lovely and shiny and then we were parked and a big lorry went past us and this happened what so on sad. earth <laughs> how did that happen what did the what <laughs> all right Let's get into the test. So firstly, since our last video six months ago, there is a slight new security feature, and that is when the car locks, any open windows now automatically close. So if I lock the car, that happens. So that's pretty cool. That is also toggleable. So what I'm gonna do to start with is I'm gonna turn that feature off. There we go, the lock window thing, I've turned that off. So inside this chest, I have a beautiful diamond play button. Very, very fancy, Oh! And the reason I brought this out is because in the last video, someone commented and they said that the car actually weighs everything in the vehicle when the car is locked and the alarms turn on. So if someone was to reach into the car, grab something and change the weight, apparently that's meant to turn the alarm on. So we're gonna test that right now. So we place the diamond play button on the back seat. We close the car, we lock the vehicle. There we go, the window doesn't come up this time. And now we're gonna head all the way over here because if you remember, the alarm system doesn't actually engage until the car has been locked for at least 60 seconds. So we need to sit over here and I'm gonna leave my phone, which normally unlocks the vehicle automatically. And I'm gonna leave my key card, which may also unlock the vehicle, safely over here, out the way of the car, next to whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, leave them there. And now we just stand here for 60 seconds, wait for the alarm to turn on and let's find out if we can steal the diamond play button. Guess what, it's been 60 seconds and I'm now in the mood to steal myself a diamond play button. So I've left all of my keys for the car far over there so they're not gonna have any impact on this experiment. And I'm now gonna reach through this window and see if we can set the alarm off by stealing the diamond play button. And I'm also gonna steal my coat because I'm getting a bit chilly. Here we go. So I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> At the moment, I will say that sentry mode hasn't turned on because the screen hasn't come on, seeing that it's there. Just gonna try and... Yeah, so the car's locked. It's actually quite weird that sentry mode's not turned on. Normally sentry mode comes on at this point and it should be filming us from the four different cameras. Oh, hold on a second. Becky, please spy through the window. As you can see, sentry mode has finally activated. <laughs> I will say it was a little bit slow. So now let's go ahead, see if we can steal the diamond play button, change the weight in the back seats without the alarm going off. Here we go. Oh my go, god, I've go, got it. Go, I've go, got go, it. go, 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 go! Be caught. I want to steal my coat as well. Alright, so that didn't seem to work. So I've stolen my coat because I'm bloody freezing. And now I'm going to see can I unlock the car from the inside? Let's find out. I can't. So I'm pressing the button now and. It isn't opening. Sentry mode's still on, so the car will be filming me from the four different cameras, which is good. Can't do that. Can I reach in and try and unlock? No, my arm's not long enough for that. <laughs> if this bit of glass wasn't here, I would try and climb in right now, but I think we should repeat this experiment, but we'll make this the open window, and then I'll try and climb into the car. 60 seconds later, here we are. It is time to find out, can I climb into my locked Tesla Model 3 without the alarm turning off? Because so far we have failed to get the alarm on. So first, just gonna confirm. Yeah, it's not opening automatically because I don't have my phone or anything on me. Sentry mode has not yet turned on. You can see the screen is just blank. I personally do think that sentry mode should have turned on at this point, as I'm now kind of, there we go, there we go. It's turned on and it is now filming us. So I'm gonna take my shoes off because I'm not a complete animal. And now let me see if I can climb in. Um, <laughs> in I go. I'm in! <laughs> Let me just find out, can I unlock the car from the inside? No, I cannot. Let me head on to the driver's seat then. Ooh. We did it! Yay! Oh, get the keys! Run! Run! Oh, thank God. Thank God. So it's turned off because Becky's ran over with the phone. Jesus Christ. So I'm not gonna lie, I forgot about that part of the, 
I forgot that it plays scary music really, really loudly. Oh my Christ, that was terrifying. But we saw I could climb into the vehicle, sit on the seat, but it was at the point where I got off my seat again where the alarm triggered, which is quite interesting. So I think for the next experiment, we're gonna stay outside and I'm just gonna shake the car about a bit, maybe climb on top of the car, maybe throw a cushion at the car. We'll find out if it sets any alarms off. <laughs> Here we go. I've got my cushion and car is all locked. So the reason I brought this cushion is because in the last video, somebody said that if you slam the window and make it think that maybe someone's trying to break the windows, then that will trigger the alarms. So we're gonna test that with a cushion today. So I guess without further ado, let's throw this cushion at my 50,000 pound car. Ready? <laughs> I will say that um, sentry cam has triggered, but the alarm is not set off. Well, I'll have another go. I'm kind of scared to do it. <laughs> I know it's a cushion, but I don't want to do it too hard. <laughs> do you want to go, Becky? Yeah, go on. <laughs> this is the one. All right, all right. Nice. All right, front window, front window, front window. It shakes a little bit. Sentry cam turned off. off. <laughs> yeah, it's seen enough. <laughs> Sentry cam's back on, so it is filming us from all four cameras. But there you go. These little tests. That's not setting the alarm off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start shaking the car about a little bit like we did with the old car, just to see if we can get the alarm to trigger. Now, I do want to make it clear as I do this that I don't think having a really overly sensitive alarm is a good thing because you don't want it to be really windy and your car alarm keeps setting off or something like that. But I do think there is still room for improvement with the Tesla's alarm system because how the car works at the moment is if the alarm actually triggers, which doesn't trigger very often, as you've seen in previous videos and in this video so far, what it does is it sends a notification to your phone from the Tesla app saying your alarm is triggered. You then have to go to your car and find out what's going on. You can't turn the alarm off from the app. But what I think the car should do is anytime sentry cam triggers, such as right now, the car should send a notification to your phone that sentry cam is triggered. Just like those fancy camera doorbells and CCTV cameras do when they detect motion. You get a little notification on your phone that motion's been detected at your front door or whatever, and then you can just click on the notification and you can see a live camera feed and you can see if there's anything dodgy going on. I think that's what should happen here. I think live footage should be sent from the car to your app. You've seen that's possible because like the ring doorbell does it. It's the same sort of stuff. I think that's what Teslas need to do. And then you can choose whether to check or ignore the notifications, it's all completely up to you. I really don't think it's good that someone can shake your car about, someone can sit on top of your car, and the alarm not trigger, and you not know about it until you check the sentry cam footage when you return to your vehicle. Look at this. I shouldn't be able to do this. What the bloody hell am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> so you'd get back to your vehicle, and you'd have a lovely recording of someone sitting on top of your car, but they could be long gone. Tesla need to send sentry cam notifications to your phone so that you can suss out what's going on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my lucky cushion <laughs> and I'm just gonna start covering cameras with it. So we can cover all of the front cameras. Can I get you to put your little finger over there, Becky, and then okay. I'll cover the back cameras. That camera is now covered. So I'm gonna stand over here and I'm gonna cover the back camera. And now we've got about half the cameras covered and the alarm's still not setting off. I look a bit weird doing this. <laughs> <laughs> sentry cam's turned on but the alarm itself has not triggered at all. I try and quite roughly break into these back doors, still sentry cam does not trigger. We did the last video six months ago and it seems like it's just as difficult to set the alarm off from the outside. It is good that the alarm will set off if it senses disturbances and changes from the inside, but I still think there needs to be the sentry cam notification sent to your phone at the very least. I've got my cushion again. I'm gonna just lob it at the car, see what happens from this distance. Back shot. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. You ready? Look at this. Mm. <laughs> Cut that bit out. Cut that bit out. It's staying in. All right. You ready? You ready? You ready? <laughs> How did you miss? I was trying to be cool. I did like a, a catch and then a throw. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. From here. From here. From here. From here. That's quite a loud, aggressive hit. Yay! Let me go turn it off. So you don't even need to turn it off. Once I get to this distance with the app installed, it just turns off. That was quite interesting. Um, 
it was definitely the aggressive slap that triggered that. So I think we need to repeat the experiment. Just slap the car really hard again and see if it turns on again. Okay, here we go. We've reset everything. Just gonna do the lock test. Sentry cam's turned on nice and early this time, which is good. We can't get in. So yeah, this happening shouldn't turn the alarm on because that's the kind of thing that does happen every now and then. And it'd be really annoying if that really loud alarm triggered every single time someone accidentally walked into it in a car park. But if someone's doing this, that's the kind of thing that should maybe turn the alarm on or at the very least send a sentry notification to your phone which I think should be a new feature. So I'm just going to do it on here. Kind of hurts my hand, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and I'm going to do it on here and we'll just kind of inverse because I want to know exactly what triggers this. Nothing. I wonder if it's one time, one impact, will that set the alarm off or is it repeated impact is that what sets the alarm off I, I don't know but what i will say is we did this in previous videos and it didn't set off so at least there has been some improvements to the alarm system over the last year okay we go again let's try a double whammy nothing i want to try sentry cam's not even recording go on becky ow <laughs> what was that if you're leaving in, I'm not leaving that in. <laughs> if you're leaving in my cushion throw, you have to leave that in. <laughs> that really hurts. Yeah, it does hurt, doesn't it? It really hurts. Let me try again. That was quite a loud one, and that didn't trigger it. Sentry cam's filming. <laughs> it really Ooh, hurts. Oh yay! Nice. <laughs> I'll, I'll go turn the alarm off again. <laughs> so let's just. Ruin my foot. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I was gonna say, let's just see how close I need to get before the alarm just automatically turns off. But it turns out, <laughs> it turns out it was exactly where I was. Was was the, how close you need to get. <laughs> <laughs> so as one last experiment, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sit in the car, give Becky my phone, and then we're gonna see if that has any impact on what the alarm does. Because there was one time in the old car where we were in McDonald's car park. I went into McDonald's for a wee. Becky stayed in the car, and the alarm just triggered while she was sat doing nothing, which is obviously a real problem because she couldn't do anything inside of the car i need to just get back to the vehicle with my phone to sort it out so let's see if that can happen but first i thought it was quite interesting just to show off some of the sentry cam footage that has been recorded because there are 13 sentry events and this is the moment that i hit the car and i had to go and run and turn the alarm off all right so i'm not being told at what point the alarm turned off but you will see that the alarm has just set off and i'm jumping around <laughs> because i'm excited about it and i need to go get my phone and turn it off there he goes all right i'm gonna close this the screen's gone off because I'm not in the driver's seat. Car is locked. I'm going to give my phone to Becky. Thank you. And uh, I'll, I'll just See sit here <laughs> for the next 60 seconds. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm sat in my car. It's been 60 seconds. The screen's still off. So what I'm going to do now, the alarm is not triggered. So I'm just going to shake about a bit, see if that does anything. I want to keep my ass firmly on the seat initially because I know that impacted things last time. Ooh. <laughs> to me <laughs> you're at mcdonald's <laughs> becky was sat in mcdonald's car park and that bloody happens <laughs> <laughs> so i mean i suppose were you uh, shaking aggressively while while waiting for me <laughs> I at the toilet think I, was. <laughs> I very slightly moved from what i remember because the way the car works is if someone's sat here but nobody's in the driver's seat you see the screen goes off and the car basically thinks that the car's empty which obviously isn't ideal the alternative is putting dog mode on and then the car will sense things but i it feels a bit weird to put <laughs> <laughs> Feels a bit weird to put dog mode on when Becky's the only person in the car, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, on that note, I think we should end off the video. That was quite interesting. We managed to set the alarm off more times this time than we did any other alarm test video. So I guess that shows that it has improved, but I still think there is room for improvement. Mainly the sentry cam notifications on your phone, I think would be a big bonus. Obviously, I think it should be up to the user whether or not they turn those notifications on or off. But I think just having the feature there would be beneficial. Hope you found that interesting. I think we will definitely do a Tesla alarm video again in the future, maybe in six months time. So if you've got any tests which you think we should specifically try in the next one, leave them in the comments down below because I promise we will look through them all before filming the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 400k subs, that would be amazing, and I'll see you all later. Give me your shoes. <laughs>